start jai shri krishna uploading text 12 text 13 text 14 and text 15 of chapter 17 punishment and reward of kali of first kind of creation of shrimad bhagavatam text 12 ko avru shachat tava padam srina saurabheya chatushpada ma bhuvam stava drusha rashtre radnyam krishnanu varti nam he maharaj parikshit repeatedly addressed and questioned the bull thus o son of surubhi who has cut off your three legs in the state of the kings who are obedient to the laws of the supreme personality of godhead krishna there is no one as unhappy as you the kings or the executive heads of all states must know the words of lord krishna generally bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam and must act accordingly in order to fulfill this mission of human life which is to make an end to all miseries of material conditions one who knows the codes of lord krishna can achieve this end without any difficulty in the bhagavad gita in a synopsis we can understand the codes of godhead and in the shrimad bhagavatam the same codes are further explained in a state where the codes of krishna are followed no one is unhappy where such codes are not followed the first sign is that three legs of the representative of religion are cut off and thereby all miseries follow when krishna was personally present the codes of krishna were being followed without question but in his absence such codes are presented in the pages of shrimad bhagavatam for the guidance of the blind persons who happen to be at the helm of all affairs text 13 akhya hi grusha bhadram vah साधु नाम कृताग साम आत्म वैरूप्य कर्तारम पार्थाना कीर्ति दूषण ओ बुल यू आर ऑफेनलेस एंड थॉरोली ऑनेस्ट देर फोर आई विश ऑल गुड टू यू प्लीज टेल मी ऑफ द परपेट्रेटर ऑफ दीज म्यूटिलेशन विच ब्लैकमेल द रेप्यूटेशन ऑफ द सन्स ऑफ पृथा the reputation of the reign of maharaj ramachandra and that of the kings who followed in the footsteps of maharaj ramachandra like the pandavas and their descendants are never to be forgotten because in their kingdom offenseless and honest living beings were never in trouble the bull and the cow are the symbols of the most offenseless living beings because even the stool and urine of these animals are utilized to benefit human society the descendants of the sons of prutha like maharaj parikshit were afraid of losing their reputations but in the modern days the leaders are not even afraid of killing such offenseless animals here in lies the difference between the reign of those pious kings and the modern states ruled by irresponsible executive heads without knowledge of the codes of god text 14 जने अनागस्य घम युंजन सर्वतो अस्य च मद भय साधु नाम भद्रमेव स्याद साधु दमने कृते हुएवर कॉजेस ऑफेनलेस लिविंग बीइंग्स टू सफर मस्ट फ्यर मी एनीवेर एंड एवरीवेर इन द वर्ल्ड बाय कर्मिंग डिसऑनेस्ट मिस्क्रियंट्स वन ऑटोमॅटिकली बेनिफिट्स द ऑफेनलेस dishonest miscreants flourish because of cowardly and impotent executive heads of state but when the executive heads are intelligent enough to curb all sorts of dishonest miscreants in any part of the state certainly they cannot flourish when the miscreants are punished in an exemplary manner automatically all good fortune follows as said before it is the duty of the king or the executive head to give protection in all respects to the peaceful offenseless citizens of the state the devotees of the lord are by nature peaceful and offenseless and therefore it is the prime duty of the state to arrange to convert everyone to become a devotee of the lord thus automatically there will be peaceful offenseless citizens then the only duty of the king will be to curb the dishonest miscreants that will bring about peace and harmony all over human society text 15 अनाग स्वीह भूते 
शूय आगस कृन्नी रनकुश आहर तास्मी भुज साक्षात मर्त्य स्यापी सांगतम एन अपस्टार्ट लिविंग बीइंग हु कमिट्स ऑफेंसेस बाय टॉर्चरिंग दोज हू आर ऑफेंसलेस शाल बी डायरेक्टली अप्रूटेड बाय मी इवन दो ही बी अ डेनिजन ऑफ हेवन विथ आर्मर एंड डेकोरेशंस द डेनिजन्स ऑफ द हेवनली किंगडम आर कॉल्ड अमर और डेथलेस ड्यू टू देयर पोजेसिंग अ लॉन्ग स्पैन ऑफ लाइफ far greater than that of the human beings for a human being who has only a maximum 100 year duration of life a span of life spreading over millions of years is certainly considered to be deathless for example from the bhagavad gita we learn that on the brahmalok planet the duration of one day is calculated to be 43 lakhs into 1000 solar years similarly in other heavenly planets one day is calculated to be 6 months of this planet and the inhabitants get a life of 10 million of their years therefore in all higher planets since the span of life is far greater than that of the human being the denizens are called deathless by imagination although actually no one within the material universe is deathless maharaj parikshit challenges even such denizens of heaven if they torture the offenseless this means that a state executive head must be as strong as maharaj parikshit so that he may be determined to punish the strongest offender it should be the principle of the state executive head that the offender of the courts of god is always punished thank you